Hi you guys, welcome back to Farmers. In this video, I wanna share with you the process you need to follow if you're an international pharmacist looking to register in Great Britain. Stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Patricia, your trusted pharmapreneur. And in this video, I continue the series of emigration. If you haven't watched my previous videos, there is one on Ireland, there's another one on Australia and New Zealand, and there's another video on Canada. So if you're interested in any of these other countries, follow the link in the description bar below. So first things first is, who is the regulator of pharmacists, pharmacy technicians, and pharmacies, the premises, in the UK that is the GPHC. That's the General Pharmaceutical Council, and they're in charge of regulating all professionals and all pharmacy premises, okay? So they're the ones you're gonna want to look at. So there are basically five ways that you as an international pharmacy um, staff or employee can register with the General Pharmaceutical Council. And there's about three for pharmacists and about two for techs and support staff, okay? So for pharmacists, the first one is through an M-Farm, which will then lead you to the foundation or pre-reg training. Or you can do one of the OSPAP programs that I'm gonna speak of to get your uh, certificates or your degree or your qualification assessed, which also leads you to the foundation or pre-reg training. And then the third is to do a prescriber course that will let you register for annotations, I believe. And then for the pharmacy techs, you can either do a qualification or um, study or a degree that lets you do your registration as a technician. And the last method is through some sort of, um, there are certain courses and, uh, you know, diplomas and things that you can do as an add-on to allow pharmacy support staff to be able to dispense medicines in uh, different facilities. So, but the scope is limited, right? So, um, yeah, these are the five methods that you can register at the GPHC of Great Britain. Now, if you're a pharmacist qualified outside the UK, perhaps in the European economic area or region, you may still qualify for a different route, an easier route to apply to. But for the rest of the world, basically, we all have to follow the Overseas Pharmacist Professional Assessment Program, I believe is the OSPAPS abbreviation. So you need to look for accredited providers of OSPAPS. That's your step number one. So these guys are like universities. I think there's Aston University, there's Brighton University, and a couple of others. So do your research. And then once you find a suitable provider of the OSPAP, you then need to start the application process they are gonna require you to send through your previous pharmacy documents. So they're gonna do a degree or a qualification assessment. If it equates to the normal UK uh, pharmacy program, then you're through to the next round. But if it doesn't, then they're gonna need like the actual syllabus with like each and every detailed module of the curriculum to really assess the equivalence of the two. They're gonna need for you to prove that you have done English, that you speak English. That's through an IELTS test, um, the International English Language Testing System, I believe. And or if you can prove that you've studied or have practiced two years at least 
in an English, majority English speaking country. So that would be New Zealand, Australia, the US, possibly Canada, and um, none of the African countries, okay? So for us in Africa, we have to go the longer route. No matter how fluent you think you are, they won't buy that story, okay? You're gonna have to do an IELTS test. I don't believe they take the TOEFL anymore. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on this and double check with them. But yeah, so you're gonna need your English proficiency exam. You're gonna need your degree qualification and as much proof of competence as possible. Much like with the Ireland video. You know, if you have any practicing um, history, like say you graduated like five years ago and you've worked in a hospital, a retail, uh, wherever, gather all that information, you know, get your letter stamped, get your certificates. If you were registered in any of the boards, get all of that evidence because that will be supporting your application process. And then you have to pay, I think it's like almost 700 pounds for them to process the whole thing. And then hopefully you're successful and you can move on to the next step, which is your foundational program for the pre-reg exam. So then you're gonna have to do about 52 weeks of training in a facility which you can apply through the, what's it called? Um, Opal or something, I'll insert it here. But there's an Opal system where you can um, apply for training sites and then, you know, they'll place you somewhere. And then you can finally do your pre-reg exam, pass it and be fully licensed and qualified to work in Great Britain. Now, I know that was a mouthful, um, but go on to their website, you guys. It is super user-friendly. You will find all the information you need, and good luck for your applications. I believe they, they're restarting the, um, the processing of these applications from the 1st of September. They had stopped for a while, but um, they're opening up again on the 1st of September. So, yeah, you guys... <laughs> Hello, go and be great. Go and flourish, go travel the world. Like I said in all these previous immigration videos, if you can, do it. There's absolutely no reason why you should deprive yourself of an overseas experience, a life transforming experience. Um, and if it's not your cup of tea, you can always come back to your home country. But if you're young, if you're able, if you have the means, go for it. Okay. I don't know if I've touched on everything, but if not, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And um, most importantly, though, go see their website and your eligibility specifically from them. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if this was insightful. Subscribe if you're not yet. Whoop whoop, we've just crossed the 5K mark. Super exciting. Don't, don't forget our 10K goal for the end of the year. So we only have like four months to get there. Share the video as much as possible. Subscribe and um, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and yeah. Suggest what other country you would like to see in the comments below and it'll come up next. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.